the second half of the fight, Keith Thurman and Manny Pacquiao. Red Forest Kendo Gill. Yeah. Oh, 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 Thurman is blitzing Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, he has to come out here you know and stand behind in this fight. He has to do something right now at this point to turn it around. We're halfway. We're just starting the second half of the fight. Yeah, yeah. Halfway, yeah. halfway home. Benny Bayless will separate the two. Now Thurman is changing his levels. Yes. Oh, yeah. I think that is so smart for him. He's got to be able to change his levels to give Manny Pacquiao a different look. He does, and that's the one thing that Floyd Mayweather did against Manny Pacquiao, always changing levels, always giving him different defensive looks. If you continue to give him the same look, then Manny Pacquiao, being the great fighter and better than he is, he's going to see him lose. Looked to the body by Thurman, followed by a right hand that backs up Pacquiao. We'll see if Thurman, oh, right hand, that connected, and Pacquiao pounds his head. As the yeah, that's all right.
seconds remaining here in the eighth round.
It's up for grabs, Kendall. It is up for grabs to see who can throw it and win the round. Such a close round. Furman coming forward, be the bigger man. Uh, the thing is, is he... Oh, yeah. Furman backing up, back in. Hit out of the
when this happens, Keith Thurman gets dropped in the first round, he understands now, whoa, this is different than what I thought. I thought that I was going to come in here the first couple, two or three rounds and blow this man out. What a performance by Manny Pacquiao and what heart. And again, Thurman was willing to engage and oh, big right hands. He landed oh, big power shots and Pacquiao took oh, one. He landed oh, big oh, power oh, shots oh, all the time. It's just a big thing. Oh, oh, yeah, they are. The same way that Pacquiao's fights uh, shots were affecting Thurman. And if Thurman does suffer the first career loss of his professional career, that's okay because guess what? It's okay to have a loss. Manny Pacquiao's had losses in his career, and then he came back. And taking a look at the punch numbers, 195 landed for Pacquiao to 210 for Thurman. Thurman was the more, he had the higher connect percentage. Yes, but Manny Pacquiao had the power punch numbers to make him exceed those numbers that Keith Thurman has. Curious to see where the judging is in this championship main event. And now let's set it up to our ring announcer here with the decision. Here is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. He will score. Champions ringside, Glenn Feldman scores about 114 to 113 in favor of Keith Thurman. Champions ringside, Dave Moretti scores about 115, 112 in favor of Manny Pacquiao. And Judge at ringside, Jim Cheatham sees it 115 to 112 in favor of the winner, Boxing's Pride of the Philippines. Oh! Dominate any aspect of this fight. All aspects of the 
fight were dominated by Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, they did. Pacquiao furthers his legacy, and he's standing by with Hattie Andrew. Thank you very much, Kenny. Well, Manny, all week you told us that you wanted to prove that you could still do it at 40 years old. Well, you certainly did that here tonight. If you were smiling, how fun was this fight for you? Oh, it's, a, it's fun. I mean, uh, I'm getting hard for uh, my opponent. It's, um, it's not an uh, easy opponent. It's, um, he's a good fighter. He's a good boxer. So he's strong. I know you had a lot of, uh, there was a lot of trash talk, but you remained calm throughout this. You didn't really engage in the trash talk, but you said you wanted to teach him a lesson. Is it or a little extra bonus? Getting the win because of all that talk. Well, um, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not the kind of boxer talker. So it's just promoting the fight. It's just promoting the fight, and then I think uh, we did a lot, a lot of the uh, things. Uh, he, did, he, did, he did his best, and, and I did my best. So the people made happy. You made the people happy. This crowd was chanting Manny, Manny, Manny all night long. How much did you draw from this crowd? I really love that. I really love the fans. Thank you so much for uh, coming here and witness the, the, the fight. Um, I'm sure uh, you are happy tonight because uh, you, get, you see a good fight. Even though uh, uh, Turman lost, but uh, we, he, did, he, he did his best. I mean, uh, he's, not, he's not easy opponent. He's, he's a good boxer. He's uh, strong. And um, I mean, I think I just, I just blessed tonight. You know, you haven't fought three times in one year since 2008. I know you have obligations with the Senate in the Philippines, but do you have one more in you in 2019? Um, uh, I think uh, next year. Uh, my next fight is uh, probably next year because uh, I have. Uh, I'm so uh, I'm busy to this this year. After this, after this fight, I'm going back to the Philippines to work, starting working in the Philippines. I know you have a jet standing by to do that. I want to ask you really quick. What opponent stands out in this division? It's a stacked division. Obviously, we have Staples Center, September 28th. It's Errol Spence, Sean Porter, potentially the winner of that fight. Yeah, I hope I can, I can watch that fight. I'm going to witness the fight. Well, congratulations on an amazing win here at the MGM. Woo! At 40 years old. You still got it, Manny Pacquiao. All right, standing to my left, Keith. You yeah. lost the zero tonight, but you did so in spectacular fashion. When you when you heard the split decision, what was going through your mind? I knew it just it was too close. You know, he got the knockdown, so he had momentum in round one. Uh, you know, I want to thank the fans. I want to thank everybody coming out. This was a beautiful night of boxing. Randy Pacquiao was a truly great, great legendary oh, champion. Oh, he's gonna be like oh, head, Senator, right? oh, Senator, great as he, oh, Senator. I promise I'll say that if he won tonight. And he did, he got the victory over me. I wish I had a little bit more output to go toe to toe. I felt like he was getting a little bit tired, but he did have experience in the ring. Uh, my conditioning, my output was just behind Manny Pacquiao. It was a great uh, night of boxing. I would love the rematch. Uh, it, is, it is, baby. You get lessons and lessons tonight. Tonight was a blessing and a lesson. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Manny Pacquiao. Thank you, Keith Thurman. We appreciate it, guys. From in the ring, back to ringside. Well, Keith Thurman showing quite a bit of respect and just classy in defeat. You know what? It is guys like that that make me so proud yes. of covering this sport, being around it. Classy champions in defeat, gave it his all, and he gives the tip of the cap to Manny Pacquiao, pretty much saying that Pacquiao was the better man tonight. You're absolutely right, and listen, he said, listen, if you can beat me, you beat me. That was his favorite. I'm not afraid to let my old go. And he, got, he was beaten tonight, but he went down like a champion should. He, in my book, he is still a champion. He's still a major factor in the welterweight division. He will be back. You just heard him say if he can have the rematch, he'd like to get the rematch. Who knows? The rematch may be different. I think that both of these guys evenly match. He thought we could go with anybody in his division. He showed tonight he is amongst the elite. And I agree with you, Ray. The class that he showed up there in defeat was exactly what we need in this sport of boxing. And for Manny Pacquiao, at 40 years of age, continues to further his legacy. He didn't need to do this tonight. He didn't need to fight tonight. 
but he does it because he loves the sport of boxing. He is a senator and does so much for his country, the Philippines, yet he still has that love for boxing. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of prize fighter, and you better enjoy him while he's around. That's exactly what I was about to say, because when, you, when he's gone, you are definitely going to miss him. All the fans out there, the electricity that was in this arena tonight with Manny Pacquiao, you experienced the Manny Pacquiao phenomenon. This is a once-in-a-lifetime talent. Him, Floyd Mayweather, the best in their generation. And for Manny Pacquiao, I'm glad, and, and he has had a busy year this year boxing. Started off January with the win over one. AJ Broner then follows it up tonight with the victory against Keith Thurman. What electricity, what atmosphere, and what a performance by one of the all-time greats. The only individual world champion in boxing, Manny Pacquiao. Turning back the clock once Sir. again and proving that age is but a number. On behalf of my esteemed colleague, Kendall Gill, Ray, it's a pleasure once again. What an honor. Thank you so much for joining us wherever you are around the world. Manny Pacquiao captures the welterweight world championship again. I'm Ray Flores saying so long from Las Vegas.